YouTube, it's Will from Bull Development, and this is my 201st weekly update. This week has been not terrible, I guess would be the way to say it. It could have been worse. Uh, we'll just start with Saturday, where I can say I got my official injury. No, God, wow, well, I guess this is another injury. God, let's see, I've torn the, torn the hip, done something to the knee, never really diagnosed it, but it's better now. Uh, broke that fingernail, squatting that one time. This is probably the first injury I've ever gotten where I wasn't squatting and I hurt myself. And it was doing a circus dumbbell. And I had 95 pounds and I really wanted it, but I was, boy, I was, it, it just, just, everything felt like shit. I mean, 85 was like killing me to do. And I still went for it. <clears throat> so I figured if I can get the 95, then God damn it, I'm going to get the 100. You know, I really wanted it. And, uh, as my daddy used to say, that dog would not hunt. I ended up getting the 95 here, and then right when I got it to about here, nothing happened, and then it ended up coming down, straight down on the joint of my big toe. Uh, right where the toe actually connects to the foot. I'll put up pictures. I took a picture of the day it happened, and every subsequent day, including yesterday, but not today of the progress of it basically going from looking pretty alright just a little tiny cut to kinda blue in places and then now it's starting to get better again uh, it's been a really rough injury because while wearing my lifting shoes I didn't really feel it but wearing my work boots I definitely felt it because the toe cap on them was rubbing against it the whole time so every time I would walk at work it was very painful uh, so moving past that, squatting this week, <clears throat> only had two days, kept it really light, uh, Tuesday squats were shit, but then Thursdays were really good, uh, was able to do a lot of easier moving weights, you know, 315 felt like 315 should, which is not too heavy, not too light, that sort of deal. And we are starting Russian squat routine on Tuesday, but the new program will be starting Monday. So the plan is to basically deadlift twice a week, squat three times a week, bench and seat press three times a week as well. Because the main program is the Russian squat program, squats are going to be the most important movement throughout this whole next six week block, which means if one day the squats don't go how they should, which what that means is if I, let's say I'm supposed to get four reps with a certain weight and I only get three and I fail that fourth rep, I'll go in and I'll do that fourth rep, but that'll tell me some something needs to be taken back, which will most likely be the deadlifts. Because deadlifting twice a week on top of all this stuff shouldn't really affect it too terribly, especially since I've chosen to basically make it a grease the groove sort of program where the weights are starting somewhere like 70% like it's nothing near chasing numbers it'll be for mostly speed something that doesn't really tax the nervous system too crazy mostly higher reps you know in the six six range ish you know there's there's some days where there's fives and then there's even days where there's only like three by threes where the weights are heavier and stuff you know it's, it's nothing that's going to necessarily build. I'm hoping to just maintain uh, where I'm at, but we'll see. I might be able to bump that up. I may even have to let drop it down. And it's going to be the same story with bench. Uh, the story goes, the rest of the gym is basically going to be like doing pause uh, bench using the same layout as the squat program. I decided to go in a slightly different direction just because I felt so fucking burned out and doing sort of that program these last couple days, just these last this last week, has significantly reduced the amount of pain I had in my chest and shoulders. So I'm hoping that if I carry this on and maybe just every third week hit a heavy single, whatever that single be, you know, it won't affect the squats too much, if at all. And we'll go from there. And as for the seated press, that is strictly like it's gonna be like your basic bitch, like start out with high reps, and by the end of it, we're down to low reps, sort of deal. Uh, 
really lightweight starting out. I mean, I think we were starting out like 115 seated for like, you know, 5x5s five five or 6x5s. I had it all written down, so I don't really remember it. And that's how I work. And once I write it down, I no longer have to remember it. It's that sort of deal with me sometimes. Especially with programming, because it's just, there's so many things. It's like, how do I remember what weight for this? That sort of deal. So it's, it's all written down, all the numbers. And basically all I'm going to do is just go in and check, check, check. You know, that kind of thing. So that's the plan. Things may change. Luckily, the toe has not been affecting my ability to squat or deadlift or really the only one that's kind of hurt was bench because just pushing and sort of the sheer force pushing against the floor actually did give me a little bit of pain uh, for a couple days, but now it's gone. So hopefully for the next couple days, um, I'll be able to move it around and give it as much... Uh, breathing room, so to speak, as it needs to heal. And hopefully it will become back stronger and better. So the moral of the week, the lesson to be learned, is to not drop the dumbbell on your toe. Or if you're going to drop it, move your foot faster. Don't be like me. If you don't move your foot faster, then what's your excuse?